Hello and welcome back to Amateur Radio DMR Programming. My name is Mike, K0NGA. In today's versus video on the Open Spot 2 and the Zoom Spot with the uh, Raspberry Pi Nano is going to be about power consumption. Now I got the idea for this video when um, I overheard something that kind of given me pause and I started doing some research and found out some interesting things. So let's start with the Open Spot. I did some research on the Open Spot and came across this information that I'm about to show you in the manual. Now, the advertising material had said, you know, it was going to have very, very low power consumption. And I said, okay, what does that mean? The manual does have the specifications here under miscellaneous. And you can see in this section here that it works on standard 5 volt USB power, as expected. Max consumption is claimed 150 milliamps. Average consumption 115 milliamps. And with power saving enabled, average consumption is 65 milliamps. So I guess that's really, really nice. It puts it well under an amp, which means that uh, it, if all is said and good with this, that you can easily power the OpenSpot 2 on a standard one amp output uh, battery supply that you can get to charge phones and that kind of a thing. So you don't need anything substantial in order to, to uh, power up the OpenSpot 2. Now, when I bought my little Zoom Spot kit, uh, somebody told me that the Zoom Spot, for some reason, requires uh, a 2.5 amps. And I thought that was very, very strange, especially given the size of the unit, the fact that it's being powered off a Pi Zero. It just seemed kind of weird for me. So I did some research, and what I found is there's this Amateur Radio Notes website. I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, this page here is the Pi, uh, Pi Star troubleshooting page. And on this page, as of today, if you go down to number 12, it says check power supply, try using a different power supply, and in parentheses, a steady 2.5 amp output is key. That really struck me as strange. Now, the first thing that comes to, comes to my mind here is that this has to be old data. This has to be outdated information. Uh, I know that the uh, Zoom Spot and the stuff that runs the Pi Star isn't limited to Raspberry Pi, isn't limited to the Zoom Spot hat and those kind of things. Uh, you can use Arduino, you can you can use USB dongles, uh, you can use a larger Raspberry Pi than the Pi Zero, you can use a Pi like 3B plus, that kind of a thing. So I'm guessing there's going to be a whole lot of variants here. So that got me curious just how much power does my Pi Star uh, Zoom Spot uh, Raspberry Pi Nano combo draw when it's when it's working, and how does that compare to the Open Spot? So I went out to uh, my favorite toy store, Micro Center, and grabbed one of their uh, available USB power meters, and we're gonna try setting up my little webcam here onto my table. And we're going to plug it in and plug things in and see what we can get done. So let's head over. All right, now as you can see, I have shut down my Pi Star and I have my little webcam set up uh, looking over the Pi Star and my digital, um, my, my power monitor, my USB power monitor there. And so what I wanted to do is actually see how the power. Uh, what the power looked like when you plug this thing in to start. So bear with me. I, I don't really deal with the webcams uh, very much, and I can't monitor what I'm what the what the cam is seeing while I'm recording. So let's go ahead and power uh, plug the Pi Star in and let it power up and see what our uh, consumption looks like. So you can see that my port is drawn is uh, providing a steady 5.12 volts. So let's plug it in. So we can see we're up to 0 0.05 amps, which is a far cry from the 2.5 amps that um, the website said that we needed to be able to provide. Uh, we're up to 0 0.14 amps. Again, a far cry from 2.5. And down to 05 on idle there. Now, while that's doing that, let's see if I can get into the Pi, the Pi Star in the website. 
for the web interface anyway. Okay. So you can see that we have the DMR is enabled. The DMR net is also enabled. So we're connected to our gateway. We go to admin and double check this. Very good. So we're connected to Brandmeister 3102. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a parrot test. And so that way I'm not bothering anybody on one of the actual talk groups. What this will do, though, is force data back from the Brandmeister server through the PyStar and out to my radio, which will exercise both the Wi-Fi module and the radio tra uh, re uh, transmitter. And we'll see what that does to the power draw. This is K0NGA, echo test, 1234. This is K0NGA, echo test, 1234. All right, so you saw it bump up there to about 0.11 amps. Again, a far cry from anywhere near 2 amps. I think the, the, the most I saw there was 0.14 amps ever which is less than a sixth of an amp, something like that. So again, looking good. Let's now switch over and see how this looks on the open spot too. Okay, let's do the same thing now with the open spot too. Okay, so as you can see, we're idling around 0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.05, 0 0.02. Uh, from what I've observed, it's kind of it does that. Now again, I'm not in power save mode here, so we're not actually doing any power save. And at 0 0.08, that's pretty much where it tops out. So now let's go in and show you the uh, a transmit on, on a parrot test and see what happens to the power draw. This is K0NGA parrot test 1234. So you can see there not a whole lot of power being drawn by the open spot. Uh, now, that's not to say that the Pi Star is a glutton for energy, just that the open spot is one more level more efficient than the Pi Star is. All right. That, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, if you have a question or have an idea for a video for me to do, leave a comment down below. And until next time, have a great day.